Now that we have discussed about the basic proportional theorem or the Thales theorem, let's see what is its application in real life or in general mathematics. So the theorem is has its own significance in identifying the dividing of a line segment. The application of Thales theorem is that it helps us in dividing a line, line segment in the desired ratio. Say for example, I draw a line segment AB and I want to divide that exactly in the ratio 2 is to 3 or 5 is to 6 or I want to divide the line segment in the ratio 7 is to 5. So I can divide any line segment in the desired ratio equally by using the Thales theorem. So let's see how we can divide a line segment into the desired ratio using the Thales theorem. So division of a line segment in the desired ratio. So first, initially, let me consider the line segment AB. So AB is the line segment which I want to divide in the ratio 3 is to 2. Say for example, I want to divide this line segment in the ratio 3 is to 2. So let's see how I can divide this line segment in the ratio 3 is to 2. That is 3 parts and 2 parts separated on the line segment. So for this, initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a ray in a suitable angle. Let me draw a ray AX making an angle with the line segment as some suitable angle. It, but this angle must be acute. This angle needs to be acute angle. So you can have any angle which when we made using a protractor you can make 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees etc which are the standard angles and then with the protractor you can draw the ray passing through that. But there is no specification that I need to use only one fixed angle but this can be any acute angle which I can draw. So once I draw the acute angle then I take a suitable measurement on with the with the, put with the uh, compass and then I try to just cut an arc out here. So initially I take some measurement and cut an arc out here which I call it as A1. So from here again taking this as the center I again cut an arc with equal measurement as AA1. So the length of AA1 is again taken with A1 as center and then it is cut with an arc using a compass. Then I get this as A2. Then similarly, I repeat the same process by taking the same measurement as AA1 or A1, A2 because these two are same. And then taking A2 as the center, I cut an arc using the compass. Then I get A3. Similarly, I repeat the process to get A4 and then finally a5 because totally this leads to the 5 parts 3 plus 2 which is 5. So in order that I have 3 is to 2 as the ratio I divide this into 5 parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 on the ray AX. So if the ratio varies accordingly then this value is what defines on the number of times I need to cut to make it divided into equal parts as with this figure in this case being 5 because 3 plus 2 is 5 the ratio 3 is to 2 is what I want on the line segment so once I divide this into 5 parts a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 on the ray x now next what I do is I join a5 with b so next is joining a5 and b. Now clearly I identify that from this a a5 b is a triangle. So a a5 b is a triangle which I am going to utilize in dividing the line segment into the ratio 3 is to 2. So initially for this 
what I do is I I try to take the third part one two three so this is the point where the ray AX get divided in the ratio 3 is to 2 because if the line segment AA5 A3 divides AA5 or the line segment AA5 as which can be clearly seen as part of the ray AX divides AF, AA5 of the ray AX in the ratio 3 is to 2 because A3 divides three parts here and two parts here. Therefore, A3 divides the line segment AA5 of the ray AX in the ratio three is to two. So the ratio is three is to two on this line. Therefore, if I wanted to get the same ratio on the line segment AB, then I need to draw a line parallel to the third side because my basic proportionality theorem says that if I recap with the triangle ABC and then if a line DE is parallel to BC, then this line divides the other two sides in same ratio that is AD by DB will be equal to AE by EC. Therefore, in order that this divides in the ratio 3 is to 2, AA3 by A35 must be equal to some ratio on the line segment and now, now the desired ratio is 3 is to 2 on the line segment therefore I can get the point on AB if I can draw a line parallel to A5B. So how do I draw a line parallel to A5B or this line using the concept. Now BC is parallel to DE so your BC here is A5B through which I have to draw a line parallel. In order to draw a line parallel to A5B and passing through A3, we know that two lines are parallel if their corresponding angles are equal or the corresponding angles are equal if the two lines are parallel. Now because these two corresponding angles are equal, this angle, whatever you measure for using the protractor must be equal from here. So what I do is I take the protractor, I measure the angle here, say it is theta. And the same angle I measure from here on from left and whatever I get here is theta will cut the line on the other side. Say this is P. So once I get the angle theta from A phi, then angle A A phi, angle A A phi B, which is theta, will also be measured from A3 with the same angle and that gives me this angle as AA3P is equal to AA5B. So that when these two angles are equal, the line which I have obtained here which is A3P will be parallel to the third side. So this will be parallel to this when I draw a line making equal angle as theta. Therefore in the ratio next let angle A A phi B which I have taken as theta let me assume this to be theta that implies using this that implies because A A phi B is theta I also make an angle draw make equal angle. So in this case A A phi B is theta therefore that implies A A 3 P is equal to theta such that A 3 P is parallel to A phi B since corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, when this is parallel to this is because this and this are theta such that both of them being equal make these two lines to be parallel. Now therefore, A3P is parallel to A5B. Therefore, from this basic proportionality theorem, I get that when a line is parallel to third side, 
that the other two sides are in same ratio. AD by DB is equal to AE by EC using basic proportionality theorem. AA3 by A35 is equal to AP by PB. Therefore, by basic proportionality theorem, I clearly have A A3 by A3 A5B is equal to AP by PB from triangle AA5B. Now in this case, we already know that AA3 by A35 is 3 is to 2 because this divides in the ratio 3 is to 2. Therefore, this is nothing but 3 is to 2 of AP by PB. That implies P divides AB in the ratio 3 is to 2. That is, I can identify the point P which exactly divides the line segment AB in the ratio 3 is to 2. So division of a line segment in this problem desired for 3 is to 2 is possible using the Thales theorem which says that the corresponding sides are in same ratio. If the ratio changes, the number of parts which are going to divide on the ray AX changes and respectively we proceed in the similar manner as we have done for this. To recap with, initially I draw a line segment AB and then to divide that into the ratio M is to N, I first draw a ray AX making an acute angle from the line segment AB using a protractor and once I draw an acute angle, I get a ray AX. Then on the ray AX, I take suitable distances and cut each time with equal distances everywhere so that I get different parts here. Now the number of parts I divide, it depends on the ratio which is added up with the value. If it is 5, I divide with 5 parts. If it is 7, I divide 7 parts. In this case, I divide 5 parts A1, A2, A3 till A5. And once I divide into 5 parts, the last part is joined with the, the last point of the line segment AB. And then we get a triangle A, A5, B. Now comparing this with the triangle ABC, I observe that I need to have a line parallel to this so that that line divides the other two sides in same ratio AD by DB by is equal to AE by EC. Therefore, when I want to divide at the ratio 3 is to 2, I identify that at A3, the, the ray AX divides into 3 is to 2 ratio. Therefore, from this point, I want to identify the other point on the line segment AB such that this line is parallel to this. Just like D is connected to E for the parallelity of D with BC, I want to find A3 connected with the other point on AB or the other side so that this is parallel to this, which can be done by taking the corresponding angles which are always equal. So if this is theta, this will also be theta. Therefore, we know this angle theta which can be measured using a protractor and then the same angle is measured here with a protractor and when I join the line and extend that line cuts AB at P which in turn gives me the understanding that A3P is clearly parallel to A5B. So this is the line identified to be parallel to this so that these two angles are equal. Now when this is parallel to the third side immediately by using the Thales theorem the, that line divides the other two sides in same ratio therefore AA3 by A35 will be equal to AP by PB such that I get this equals this by using the Thales theorem. But I already know that AA3 by A35 divides in the part three parts with two parts therefore this by this will be 3 by 2 which comes as 3 by 2 which is AP by PB carried from the previous statement. This clearly makes me understand that when AP by PB is 3 by 2, that means P divides AB in the ratio 3 is to 2. Therefore, when I want to divide a line segment in the ratio 3 is to 2, was possible by identifying the point P from here so that I can clearly get the point on AB which divides AB in the ratio 3 is to 2. 
So any ratio, the method is the same, but the concept changes with the values, but ultimately the construction process and the steps are one and the same.